26, 2021. My name is Father Trout, and I would like to welcome you to today. As usual, before we begin, I would like to remind you that we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 6 a.m. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever new episodes are uploaded. With that out of the way, my friends, let us begin. Friends, if you don't know, then hear it here for the first time. God is watching. Naishan Panwa, an author, once stated, When you have a bad day, just look up and remember that God is watching over you and will guide you through the rest of the way. Genesis 16, 13 also reminds us, Therefore, Haggai used another name to refer to the Lord who had spoken to her. She said, You are the God who sees me. And also said, Have I truly seen the one who sees me? You see, friends, knowing that God sees us can be both comforting and distressing. When we suffer, the fact that God sees us can bring comfort. But it can also raise the question of why. If God sees us, he doesn't reach out to help us. Doesn't God care? I mean, it can also be troubling to realize that God sees us when we sin. Nothing we do or say or think or feel or dream is hidden from him. God sees us all the time. And because of Christ, we know not only that God sees us, but also that God looks upon us with compassion. He is not just some God who is watching us from a distance as the song proclaims, but he is a God who, because he sees us and cares for us, has come to be among us through Christ so that he might have intimate relationships with us. So, how do you feel? about the fact that God sees you now. Is this thought comforting? Is this thought reassuring? Maybe this thought is still scary for you. Maybe this thought is a familiar one because you've heard it before. Or maybe it's a new thought. But today I encourage you to take comfort. Take comfort in a God that does not watch you to be nosy, but watches over us to know that we and he cares for us. Let us take a moment and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, you have examined our hearts and know everything about us. You know when we sit down or stand up. You know our thoughts even when we're far away. You see us when we travel and when we rest at home. You know everything we do. You know what we are going to say even before we say it. You go before us and follow us. You place your hand of blessing on our heads. Such knowledge is too wonderful for us, too great for us to understand. How precious are your thoughts about us, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. We cannot even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. And when we wake up, you are still with us today, and always. Amen. Friends, as usual, I would like to thank you for tuning in. And as we always say here, make today your best day until we meet again.